hello students how are you all i hope you are doing well so in our previous video we have learned regarding some topics of the chapter the northern mountains right so now we will discuss the rest part of the chapter okay now here in this video we will learn regarding the life in the mountains so let's get started so now let us know about the life in the mountains okay so the first union territory which we will learn today is jammu and kashmir it is located in the northern part of our country and it is surrounded by himachal pradesh and punjab in the south pakistan in the southwest so as we know earlier ladakh was the part of jammu and kashmir but on 31st october 2019 it became a union territory okay so jammu and kashmir lies to the west of ladakh okay the summer capital of jammu and kashmir is srinagar and the winter capital is jammu rivers like chenab chelam and indus are present here okay now regarding language so the official language of jammu and kashmir is urdu but beside this many other languages are been spoken like kashmiri dogri pashto dadri pahari hindi and punjabi okay now regarding their dress men as well as women wear firan and salwar some men also wear churidar with firan they also wear pathani suits and kashmiri women wear heavy silver jewelry okay now regarding the dance and music rof and wigi nachun are popular kashmiri folk dance and a popular folk dance called the roll and dogri are performed by kashmiri women okay so these are some of the popular kashmiri folk dance now various festivals and fairs are, are celebrated and organized in jammu and kashmir like eid urs at khanika and at sharari sharif okay other festival like lori baisakhi diwali jammu craft mela and bahu mela are being celebrated okay so these are some of the festival which are celebrated there and also some of the fairs which are organized there now occupation so here the people are mostly engaged in agriculture and livestock rearing like sheep goats yak and ponies and terrace farming is widely practiced in this region the crops which are grown here are rice wheat maize pulses tobacco barley and saffron many fruit orchards are found in this valley and fruit cult and fruit cultivation is an important source of wealth for the state okay so it contribute to the income come for the state now arts and crafts so there are many art and craft industries present in jammu and kashmir like silk weaving woolen shawl carpet weaving wood carving paper mash basket making sports goods like willow bats along with silver brass and copper work okay so these are some of the main art and craft industries which are present in jammu and kashmir now as we all know that it's a very beautiful place right it is considered as heaven on earth so it is very much popular among the tourist popular tourist destination which are present there are Gulmarg, Sonmarg, Pahalgam, Varinag, Dal Lake, Ular Lake, Amarnath Caves, and Hazrat Bal. So these are some of the popular tourist destination, and it is also famous for its Mughal Garden, like Shalimar Bagh and Hishat Bagh. Okay. 
So the next state about which we will get to know now is Himachal Pradesh. Okay, so it is bordered by Jammu and Kashmir in the north, Punjab in the west, Uttar Pradesh in the south and Uttaranchal in the east. Okay, and the capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla. Rivers like Ravi, Bees, Chenab, Satluj are present there. Okay, and there are different types of languages are been spoken in this place. The main languages are Pahari, Kirati, Kinori, along with Punjabi and Hindi. Okay. Now regarding dress, what the people wear? Men wear loose shirts and pajamas with colorful round Himachali caps. And women wear salwar or pajama with loose colorful kurtas and scarves around their head. So these are the traditional dress worn by the people of Himachal Pradesh. Okay. Now regarding dance and music. Traditional folk and samskara song are very popular among the people. And various popular dance forms are Shona, Nati and Bura. So these are some of the popular dance forms. Now festivals. Festivals celebrated in Himachal Pradesh attract tourists from all over the world. Okay. And the main festivals celebrated there are Hariali, Lahol, Lauri, Baisakhi, Dharamshala festival and Kullu Dashera. Okay. Now regarding occupation. So here also agriculture is the main occupation and crops like rice, maize, wheat, barley are grown there. This state is the largest producer of apples in, in the country. And tourism is also an important industry which helps the state to generate income. Okay. Now art and craft. Himachal Pradesh is also well known for its art and craft. Okay. Like Pashmina shawl, woodcraft, rugs, carpet, silver jewelry, woolen caps, shawls with traditional Himachal embroidery and Kangra miniature painting are well known. Okay. So now tourism. As we all know, we have learned earlier that right? tourism is an important industry there. So there are various major tourist destinations present here. So what are they? Shimla, Kullu Valley, Manali, Solang Valley, Rotang Pass, Dalhousie, Chamba, Kangra Valley, Dharamshala, Kasoli, Kufri, Chile, and Fago. So these are some of the major tourist destinations present there. Okay, so the next state about which we will discuss now is Uttarakhand. Okay, so first we will read about its location. So, this state is surrounded by Tibet in the north, Nepal in the east, Uttar Pradesh in the south and Himachal Pradesh in the northwest. Now, the capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun. Okay. Now, rivers which are found there are Ganga and Yamuna. Main languages spoken by the people of Uttarakhand are Garhwali, Kumauni and Hindi. So, these are the main languages. Okay. So, next topic is traditional dress. Okay. So, here people wear pyjama kurta with a headgear or turban. Okay. And women wear rangwali pichora. So, it's a dress which they wore at ceremonial occasions. Okay. And they wear jewelry also with it. Okay. Now, dance and music. So, langvi nritya. Varada, Nati and Cholia are some of the famous dance. Folk songs are also very popular there. And those folk songs are being played on musical instruments like the Dhol and Turi. Okay. Now regarding fairs and festivals. So there many festivals are being celebrated. So some of the fairs and festivals are Basant Panchami, Dashira, Makar Sankranti. Nanda Devi Mela, Harela Mela. Okay, these are some of the important fairs and festivals which are being organized and celebrated there. Okay, 
Now regarding occupation, so here people are basically engaged in different types of work like agriculture, some are engaged in horticulture. So what do you mean by horticulture? It means practice of gardening and cultivating plant and tree. Okay. Okay. Now some are engaged in exports of crops, fruits and medicinal plant along with other public sector companies which employ a large number of people. Okay, now the basic crops that are grown here widely are wheat, basmati, rice, oil seeds, pulses, ground nuts, etc. And the important cash crop that are that is grown in this region is sugarcane. Now, Uttarakhand is also well known for its handicraft. So examples have been given like wood carving, painting, handcrafted gold jewelry basket weaving etc and it is also famous for pahari and kangra schools of art okay so it is very rich in art and craft okay now regarding tourism so many important hill stations are present here and some of them are rani khet bhimtal almora satal nanital okay these are some of the examples given and beside these hill stations, many other tourist attractions are also present here. Like Gangotri, Yamunotri, Badrinath, Kedarnath, Jim Corbett, Nanda Devi National Park, Rajaji National Park, Gangotri National Park. Okay, these are some of the examples of tourist attraction. Adventure sports are also carried out in this region. And some examples have been given like river rafting, mountaineering, rock climbing, hiking, etc. Okay, these are some of the adventure sports that are carried out in Uttarakhand. So the next state is Sikkim. Okay, so Sikkim is a landlocked state with Nepal in the in the north. So what do you mean by landlocked? Landlocked means that it, it doesn't have a direct access to the river bodies. Okay, so it is a landlocked state with Nepal in the north, Tibet in the northeast, Bhutan in the east and West Bengal in the south. Okay. Now, the capital of Sikkim is Gangtok and it is located at a height of 5,500 feet. Okay. From Shivali. The present in this is Testa. And the languages and the main languages spoken here are Bhutia, Nepali, Lepcha, Sherpa and Limbo. Okay. Now the traditional dress. So, two main tribes. The two main tribes of Sikkim are Lepcha and Bhutia. They have their own traditional dress. So Lepcha men wear a Lepcha shirt, a white pyjama and a cap. And the women wear smooth and cozy ankle length dress which is called Damdium. Loose fitted blouse which is called Tego and a cap which is called Taro. Okay. Yeah. What they wear? The Bhutia men wear a a loose cloth like garment which is called baku and the women wear full sleeve silken blouse and a loose garment which is called hanju okay with traditional jewelry so now regarding dance and music now marx dance which is which is which are performed by lamas and chechem and kagyat are very famous okay and folk songs and western songs are also very popular in this region fairs and festivals so the, okay the, some of the main fe buddhist festivals are lasung sagadawa Lashen. okay now the occupation here people are engaged in tourism agriculture horticulture and hydroelectric plant okay and various crops that are grown here are rice cardamom oranges apples maize potato wheat ginger and tea now regarding art and craft so the main art and craft of sikkim are handloom handicraft woolen carpets and furniture okay so the next point is tourism some of the main tourist destination which are present in sikkim are chungthang yumthang gangtok rich park research institute of tibetology enche monastery Natula Pass, etc. So, these are the main tourist destination. Okay. So, in this video, we have learned regarding the life of people in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, and Uttarakhand. Right. So, I hope you will go through this video and also the first video of this chapter.
okay so that you will able to understand this chapter nicely okay okay so the next topic which is the story of seven state will be covered in our next video okay thank you and have a good day